Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am here at um, a farm, a poultry farm, Igbatemi Farms, somewhere at the barracks of Joel Lagos State, Nigeria. And I'm here to show you the update on the work we did last year, November. I've not been around for a while, but I'm here today. We have um, the biogas bon uh, burner. As you can see, we have a gas doing pretty well, pretty good. This is free gas from poultry waste. Now, some of you do doubt if this actually works, but it works. Usually, the problems being faced in biogas digester systems is leakage, um, pH value, uh, methanogenic impute. But here, we have something working pretty fine. This is uh, one of the young men in the farm. His name is Joshua. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Joshua, come, 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 come. I'm serious, come. Can you confirm that the system is okay and it's working for you? Yes. It's cooking? It's cooking. Okay. Yeah. I better talk louder, I beg. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, my YouTube channel, I know being in Nigeria this year. Uh -huh. So he's making stew. He's boiling, what's that? Yeah. Rice, okay. So I'll be taking you to where the pump is, and you'll be seeing how how far it's working. What chicks are here? These are noilers, okay. So here we have the brooding facility. I uh, will be connecting these generators to gas uh, tomorrow. I have my gas carburetor. So I'll be, I'll be running on gas to, from tomorrow. Here we have about 4,000 beds. Um, where do I take you to first? The digester or the pump? Okay, let's go to let's go to the bag. This is a five cubic meters biogas bag swollen. Here we have the scrubbers. They clean up the gas and make sure it is pure enough to be used in the burner or in the generator. So we have the pump working. It's connected to a solar panel up the roof that keeps charging it independently. So you're not using power from the grid. It's from the sun. Everything is renewable and sustainable here. That's the pump working. This is the bag filled up with gas. That's the manager over there. Now, you know why I love this manager so much? He, he would, you can't convince him if he has not seen it with his eyes. He told me several it will not work. Aye. But sir, sorry sir, please, Mr. Ewai, can you tell us if it's working or not? It works for him. But did you believe it before? No. But I'm happy you're saying it, right? Yeah. So, so in case, sorry, in case you need his service, it can be in Nigeria, outside Nigeria for um, poultry management, waste management. He's good at it. He will tell you exactly whatever he tells you, yeah. you do it to your farm and you have success. So my, my subscribers all over the world, if you need consultancy on your poultry farm anywhere in Nigeria or outside Nigeria, I can always give you his contact and you can reach him. Thank so I'll, I'll be showing you, thank you, Mr. Ewai. I'll be showing you the digesters now. Here we have five digesters, all very active, all producing gas, all at the same time. What they are doing is to digest the waste from 4,000 beds, the poultry waste, and give you free energy, free gas 247. So the wastes have been um, pushed into the system here that holds them temporarily after which they go into this other system and then they start going to the different systems, different units and you start having gas. The gas is being tapped out. The gas is being tapped out from here through the system and then all the way to the scrubbing and cleaning unit. When it gets there, the, the water molecules have been removed, the condensed um, water molecules have been removed, and then it's sent into where to be used. It's also sent into these brooding units where they use the gas to brood and warm up little chicks, day old chicks, week old chicks, until they are strong enough to be sent out for other processes. So that has been four minutes or five minutes of um, this enlightenment. Thank you.